So I have my full compliment here to take any question. CS yes, may I start? Who is can yeah. somebody help me to moderate? Thank you very much. My name is Julian Samboko from NTB. Uh, two very quick questions. First is what is the prescribed timeline for settling subsidy arrears? And why I ask that question is because there is the pervasive view that there is misalignment between the time the government is paying ONCs and their inventory cycle, and therefore you're throwing them into cash flow problems. Mm -hmm. Could you please give us a sense of that? Secondly, you have spoken very optimistically about the subsidy, and yet I have the CS Treasury on record indicating that going forward this is likely to be unsustainable, indicating that they could be paying upwards of 15 billion shillings every month in subsidy. If you look at the average right now, it's going to about 7 billion shillings, that's double. Uh, could you please just clarify um, how you see this being sustainable in the long haul? Thank you. Mm. You take the time and check your mm -hmm. Does anyone else wish to ask a question yes. so we can take a couple? My name is Omondi Elvis Omondi from Truth FM. And uh, I have a question on hoarding. Uh, you have accused uh, the private firms of hoarding petroleum products, yet the very firm that is owned by the government, National Oil, has equally been experiencing shortage when it comes to the supply of petroleum products. Is it a case of uh, is it a case of you guys speaking from both sides of the mouth? Or what is the problem actually? Okay. There's only one side. Uh, my name is Brenda Kiru from KTN News. I have uh, a few questions. So the first one is, uh, is it safe to cut 4.6? Brenda, I can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Mm. Come closer. Is that better? Still not it's on. not on. I'll show you. I'm okay. Ready. All right. So um, the first one is, uh, you paid about... You've paid about 34.6 billion to the oil marketers. So how much do you owe them at the moment? And then number two, could you also give us an update in relation to uh, the Ruby CEO uh, situation? And then number three, are these uh, players that you're talking about that are facing some form of punishments? Who are they? Could you give us the names, please? And at the same time, when you're talking about this subsidy, will it be a partial subsidy or a full subsidy? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we should take those first, eh? And I'll allow the, the PS, who is the accounting officer, to answer to Julian in terms of the cycle of uh, payments. Eh? But let me just uh, answer Omondi in terms of uh, me uh, speaking uh, from both sides of the mouth. Usually I'm not very good at that. Um, one, we are not speculating, okay? We are not speculating. We know how much fuel lands, we know who has what allocation. We know who has dispersed what. So we are not uh, thumb sucking here. Huh? And so we are able to determine who has dispersed what amount to the market. So there is, there is no speculation here. And uh, I am speaking this with very firm um, backing of facts and figures. So we do know. I can tell you who has dispersed what amount, where, when, you know, and so when I talk uh, when I talk about hoarding, I mean it in its real English meaning, i.e., not releasing the uh, product uh, in the in the line of the structured arrangements of the licensing and framework of of of, of operations in the market. Huh? So, um, and, and national oil can speak for themselves in terms of how much they have dispatched or received. Um, on the question of uh, sustainability of subsidy, let me just touch on that. You will know the history of subsidy is that it, it is deployed in a situation of an unforeseen circumstance, which is this type of situation. And uh, it is not a petroleum subsidy. We've seen subsidies in various other formats. During the COVID-19 situation, you know there was a number, a range of subsidies that the government provided for in order to cushion the, the, the country. And this is the essence of it. So there is no uh, subsidy in the world that I know that is anti infinitum. It is intended for a specific purpose to relieve stress and to get people back on their feet without necessarily the negative and anticipated consequences 
of hikes that have been brought by unforeseen circumstances. So I do not see that this, this subsidy would be forever and that it would be a recurrent cost on the government. But we calculated as an administration and determined that it was necessary at a certain point, and that is why it was established. But I will give uh, PS a chance to speak to the cycle of processing the subsidy. PS, together with uh, how much you have paid up to now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Th thank you, Waziri. I think um, there has been a lot of discussion 